All right. Okay, welcome everybody to Morning Coffee. James, I'm James, and this is my Morning Coffee show. Welcome, you beautiful bastards of the internet and ladies. I'm not calling you bitches because I'm not like that. All you bitches and hoes, how are you? Of course, I'm talking about dogs and uh, guarding equipment. Um, now, I'm, today uh, I'm. Today is uh, April 13th, 2020. Today is my birthday. I am 32 years old. Uh, I am 32 years old. Um, I am also uh, living back at home again. 32 years old and I'm living back home. Isn't it fucking wonderful? Excuse my language. Uh, it is... Uh, 32, I mean, wow, I've been on this planet for 32 years. That, that's incredible. That's incredible. I was born in 1988. Uh, I'm a child of the 90s. I am a teen of the 2000s, and I am an adult in the 20s. So, how things have worked. Um, what do you want to talk about today? Well, I want to talk about my birthday. I want to talk about my life. Things have changed drastically. Uh, I don't want to mention my death of my brother, but I will. Uh, I want to talk about... That that's happened. I talked about moving out, moving back in, moving jobs, yada yada yada. Starting the show, which was four years ago, I believe, that I started doing morning coffees with James. I think two. I think I started 2018. I believe. I believe. Yeah, that's three years ago, four years ago, 2018. Damn. Was it 2017? Yeah, 2017. And then when. Instagram did, uh, oh, you were doing Instagram TV, and now we're doing four-minute videos, and I'm like, ten-minute videos, I'm like, fuck yeah, and I did morning coffees with Jane, so, yeah, not a great show, I wish I could do more with it and do some editing and stuff like that, and I wish, I don't want to be like Tim Pool. the left is the problem of the year, you know, it's that... Can I ask anybody out there, does anybody find Tim Pool kind of annoying when he when he's talking? He sounds very, like, condescending a little bit. Like, not to a point where it's, like, your mother talking down to you. Um, I, it just sounds like, oh, my God, I hate when leftists... And I don't hate leftists. I don't hate people who are on the left. I love... I, I, I You know, I have some ideas that are very left... But I also have some ideas that are very right, when it, especially when it comes to guns. I mean, I'm very right when it comes to guns. Like, yeah, I, every gun in every house. Like, you know how they say a car in every driveway? How about a, a, a an AR in every household? Or AK, depending on your preference, on your sexual preference. But, anywho. Uh, welcome. So, yeah. Uh... Yeah, today is uh, April 13th, my birthday, and so after this I'm going to go for a little run and I'm going to upload this video to both Instagram, YouTube, and all this shit. So, yes, and it's been, it's been a rough, it's been a wild ride, so yeah. <clears throat> Have fish oil. Never eat fish oil on an empty stomach, I'll tell you that much. But, it is a, uh, it's been a crazy ride. It's been an absolute crazy ride. And I will say, this though, uh, I have gotten myself a few gifts that uh, were pretty good. I got Resident Evil 3 Remake, which I want to talk about in full discussion. I feel, I was going to do like a Let's Play of it, which honestly... I think I might just do a review of it because I've already got my... I was going to get my PlayStation 2 out to play the original PlayStation 1 because uh, I am not a... I'm not a contrarian Zoomer. And I'm not a Zoomer. I'm all, I'm a millennial. But honestly, uh, if you don't have appreciation for those older games, I'm sorry, but fuck you. Like, I granted, I was having this argument in a uh, game store. The store in... Uh, Glenn's site called Game Junkie, which 
it's a great it's a great retro game store and a modern game store, but one of the things they were talking about is that we have too much appreciation for the older games. Like we 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 put them on a higher mantle than most games nowadays, and I'm like he's kind of right in that sense because you know some of those games that had like major flaws in them like major flaws for example uh, talking about resident evil a lot of people are not too like like the reason the major complaint that everyone talks about with the older resident evil games is the tank controls and i feel like if you if you are somebody who grew up in the 90s playing tank controls and yes i'm talking about my cousins i'm talking about people who've actually played the games tank controls are not that bad like I've played enough Resident Evil knockoff games to tell you that Resident Evil is the only game series that has, like, the better tank controls. Like, if you get used to them, you, you be flying through that game and not being, like, doing a lot of turning around and crap. So, yeah. It, they're not bad controls. They're just very, very hard to get, you know, they're just very hard controls to get used to, so... So yeah, all you contrarians can shut the fuck up. And don't play the goddamn game. Go play, like, I don't know, SOCOM or play, like, Resident Evil 4. Everybody, you know, that's the funny part, though. Everybody's first Resident Evil, it's either 2 or 4. And it's like, oh my god, this game's nothing like 4. It's like, you're right, and it's nothing like 2. I played 2 and on and 4, and I've played 1, and I played 2, and I played 3, and I played 4. Code Veronica... Outbreak. Yes, I've played the Outbreak series, and I didn't have an internet connection. Which, honestly, like, I've heard rumors that they're gonna remake 4. That's the, that's the rumors that are going around. I don't want to remake a 4. Like, if they're gonna remake 4, at least, like, give it a, like, keep the original gameplay, but give it a fresh coat of paint. I, and, and this is my issue with, like, the remakes in general both the remakes, they kind of lose that charm of the, like, the first two games. And people will say, oh, it doesn't have that anime flair to it. And I'm like, what anime flair? You mean Japanese game style? Games, a game, a style of game making? And storytelling? Like, what Japanese people thought Americans were, like, like in America? This, like, if you look at Resident Evil 1, and if you look at everything after, you know, post, if you look at everything pre-7, there's a lot to be said about them. They're very, like, you know who made these games. Like, this is a Japanese-made game. Like, it's over the top. It's ridiculous. But it's beautifully ridiculous. It's not supposed to be, you know, taken to a point of seriousness, but it's not supposed to be taken to a point of uh, fantasy. Like, yeah, there are moments in the game where they are just ridiculous, but, like... You embrace it. You embrace the cheese of that. You embrace the ridiculousness of Resident Evil 2. You were, you know, like, the ending where they're playing that, that guitar, like, hey, it's up to us to stop Umbrella. That is just some good shit. You know, or better yet, one of my biggest complaints about 3 is the, uh, the ending, which... I'm going to spoil the original Nemesis game, uh, so I'm going to call Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, uh, Nemesis and the new Resident Evil, the remake. Uh, they fucked up the ending in the remake. Uh, so, and basically, when you finally defeat the, like, Nemesis in this game, spoilers, you do, but I'm not going to tell you how they do it, because it's completely different from the original game, but in the original game, there's a line that is said at the end where... Jill finally defeats the monster, and she says, Stars? You want stars? I'll give you stars. And in the remake, they just kind of throw it in, like, as just a th second thought line when she's being chased by the monster, and it's like, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense why that line is there. Like, right there. Like, couldn't you put that line... At the end where, you know, when she finally defeats the nemesis and she's like, you want stars? Whew, I'll give you stars. It's a better ending line than the one they gave us. And the one they gave us is just like telling a creepy stalker to fuck off line. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, she's like, next time, take a hit. It's like, oh, so would any time the original did something 
did something like that. It was cheesy. Oh, the original's cheesy. Nobody calls out the remakes for being as cheesy as well. It's like, I feel like, I, I, I feel like, uh, Phelous when he's talking about, uh, when he's talking about the TMNT, uh, there's, there was a crossover of TMNT, the thing 2007 reboot and the original 1985, uh, show. And he, 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 his whole complaint was anytime like the, 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 the 85 turtles showed up, they were just like viewed and mocked. Like they were just mocked. There was no like respect whatsoever, which honestly the 2000 and 10, I think that show came out, or the Nickelodeon version, I'm going to call it. When they did the crossover with the 85 show, they actually showed respect. Like, that entire show shows respect to the Turtles, and now they have another show that shows no res respect for the Turtles, which is the SJW Deconstructive uh, Error now we're living in, so, yeah, so... One of the things I do like about the remake, though, it is a fun remake, though. I will say that uh, money well spent, but I feel like Capcom just took a lot out of that. Like, and that's like one of the things that just really pisses me off about the remake is uh, of three is the fact that they just kind of cut a lot out. Like, I feel like they just panned a lot of areas. Like, oh well, the courtyard, we'll just pan that out. Like. There's a point that we go to the hospital and it's like, oh, well, we'll just pan that out. We don't really need to extend that part. You know, it's too, too, like, when anybody says the original games were too anime, they need to really replay those games because, yeah, some of the dialogue is cheesy, but I, I would call this out if the remakes did this because the remakes... It's funny that nobody mentions this, but I always compared the remakes of the Resident Evil games. Like, if you look at the remake of the first game, not really that cheesy, but just more of a, like, a, like, toned down of that original dialogue. Like, okay, so it's not, st stop, don't open that door. It's, Jill, don't open that door. We don't want those monsters getting in. Like, it still keeps the, like, it still keeps the B-movie flavor in with a little less cheese and a little bit more salt. You know what I mean? Like, it feels more like, okay, this is still staying respectful to the source material. Resident Evil 2 and the Resident Evil 3 remake kind of, like, are a little bit more serious, but I feel like they kind of don't embrace the cheese a little bit. I don't know. I, I want to make an entire video. I have... I had... Oh, I had. I had notes. Uh, but I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna save that note. Uh, shit. I have, I have notes here talking about it, and I want to go replay some of the other Resident Evil games. But one of the things that really bugs me about the remake, though, well, one of the things I will say, though, I, again, the money was not. Well, uh, thank you, Pam. I'm not. It was a good sixty dollars that I spent, and yes, the game has replay about replay value. It is a really fun game to replay over and over again and get good, you know, good a good grade on, but it just lacks in a few areas. Like, why couldn't we go and explore more of Raccoon City? This should have been the chance to just expand on Raccoon City. You know what I mean? Like, expand on the city itself rather than just give us this, like, intro that feels rushed uh, like because the again i'm not again it sounds like i'm being a contrarian but or somebody who's just not seeing the value of the remake it's just the fact that in the original it, it everything seems to be just rushed like oh we get jill encounters the nemesis early and you know you have to run from her from the apartment and i'm just like thinking to myself this could have been better if they just kind of gave it a pacing. Like, the original, like, Resident Evil 2 remake had a great pacing. Like, okay, you, instead of arriving in Raccoon City and the whole thing going to shit and you just have to figure out how to do things, um, again, I, I, this is why I want to make, like, edited videos so I can make a, re a review of this, but in the original, it was kind of a different game. Like, what was they talking about? The remake. So basically, yeah, in the original games, like, you were kind of thrown in being attacked by zombies, and they kind of had you make you... They, 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 you had to figure out how to play the game. Like, 
Like for example, in the remake, in the originals of Resident Evil Three and Two, you had like you had to like run away from zombies or fight them, or you would die and just try to figure out how to get it around them. Like the the game was like throwing you into the fire right away. Like but in these games, they kind of teach you how to play the game. Three, on the other hand, is kind of throwing you into the fire with just Nemesis, which who who just shows up early in that. Which I'm kind of like, it annoys me that like, in the original that nobody believed them, uh, believed the Stars members. After, uh, never mind. I'm, you know, I'm done talking about Resident Evil Three and the remake. My final thoughts on it: that Resident Evil Three remake gets it. I'm gonna have to agree with it. it gets a seven or an eight, maybe a seven point five, because I feel like that game needs uh, needs a little more, and it's close to perfection, but it's not there yet um i will say this though i will i do want to get there's two other games i want to get excuse me english people uh people of britannia uh there's two other games i want to try to get uh if i get the money doom eternal and final fantasy remake and it, honestly, after watching Maximum Dude's uh, video on uh, his his playthrough of Final Fantasy uh, of uh, Final Fantasy VII remake, which I gotta finish up fifteen, Seven's uh, remake is beautiful. It is a beautiful remake. I mean, they do like this is like how you should do remakes in my mind. Like I feel like. It's close to the source material without being too much of its, uh, like, a, a, a really much of a distraction and not catering. Like, it feels, it feels uh, justified in how they did this remake. Okay, so it's like, and again, it, it's weird to, to compare it to, like, say, 3, but it does a lot. It, it shows a little bit more respect, but I don't know. I have, there's a video I want to check out of Micah Curtis talking about it, but... Um, I don't know, there's other games I want to see be done remade and with better graphics and all this stuff, like, and granted, I don't want to see games just being remade for the sake of being remade. I do want to see a third Dino Crisis game. Uh, no, I'm not counting the one that came out for Xbox that was in space and had dinosaurs in space and had nothing to do with third energy, had nothing to do with time travel, uh... Nor had nothing to do with Res Dino Crisis 2. Yes, I am a fanboy of that. Um, uh, I do want to see a proper sequel to that storyline being told. Um, I do want to see a remake of... Parasite Eve, because I've heard rumors that they're going to do it. Like, they talked about remaking 7 and all this stuff, and I heard that they're going to remake uh, Parasite Eve, which I'm like... Yes, do it, do it, just do it. If anything, I would love to see that remake. Because, like, if anything, my three major horror games that I think are really damn good of the PlayStation era are Silent Hill, Resident Evil, the entire trilogy of it, and Parasite Eve 1 and 2. And yes, I'm including 2 in that because a lot of people shit on 2 for being a Resident Evil clone, but to tell you the truth... It does a lot of things differently than Resident Evil. Like, for example, Resident Evil is a survival horror, as where I will say that Parasite Eve 2 is more of a survival hunter. Well, a hunter horror, in a sense. A hunter survival horror. Because you go to shops, you get guns, you get upgrades on the guns, you, you level up, you have to go in certain areas and hunt down, like, ANMCs, which stands for Artificial Neo Mitochondria Creatures. I know, that's a lot, and there's a lot to be discussed in that Parasite Eve discussion. Um, yeah, I would love to see those two games remade. And Dino Crisis. Fuck yeah. Like, let's see those games being remade. I also want to see the the original Metal Gear Solid, uh, me not Metal Gear Solid, the original Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 being remade. And, that, and I'm talking about the ones that came out for the MSX and in Japan. I want to see those games being remade in the Fox engine, but, you know, corporate greed. Because, again, 
Oh, we need a Resident Evil 4 remake. No, Resident Evil 4 does not need to be fucking remade. Don't ever touch that until maybe two decades in. Until I'm an old man. And I'm a grumpy bastard. Um. Yeah, pa again, it's... I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying Re pa Resident Evil 3. I, I had to take a break from it. Not to say I was bored... But I do want to play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis just to see if, like, the, that game still holds up or is there something different about it. Then again, like, Resident Evil 3 Remake had some good things, but there was also things in there I think they should have just got rid of or just improved on. Like, like I said before, anytime you get, ca like, attacked by a zombie... It, it, it's always the same animation, and they have to play the animation of you taking damage instead of just pre mashing X like a normal person would to get a monster off of you. You have to go through the cycle of the animation, which honestly doesn't make any sense because if, it, like, we've been told, and yes, Resident Evil has done this before in the past, if you get attacked by a zombie, mashing X, just mash the fuck out of X to get him off. All right. I think I'm. Ta I, th I think I, I. I have to get the itch out. I have to get the itch out of. I have to play Resident Evil. Uh, re. I have to make a video about these. So. Oh, let me just. Okay, you didn't see anything. Yes, I'm wearing pajama bombs. All right. I'll let your imagination run riot on that one. Um, no, this is a, this is a PG show. This is a PG show. I made another video that was two minutes in. Uh, let's just say I had to delete it. So, Parasite, uh, so, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I think this is a go golden age for remakes right about now. I think, if anything, I would like to see uh, a Parasite Eve 3 rather than a remake. I would love to see a Dino Crisis 4 rather than a remake. Um, honestly, yeah, if they were just to be like, okay, we're gonna give you this and all this. Um, so yeah, I feel like, yeah, that's my birthday episode. I mean, I'm talking about Resident Evil. I feel like I've talked about Resident Evil 3 rather than I've talked about anything else. But, you know, in this day and age of the coronavirus and the C-virus, I will call it, or the Chinese virus, let's call it that, because it's from China, um... I'm just getting bored of everything. I'm just getting tired of this whole bullshit. I want my our normal lives back. You know what I mean? I want my normal life back before I got my injury. Still feel that fucking nerve. Uh, maybe in one more year. Like, it's almost over. I think having a couple of more months of therapy, getting myself back in order again. Yeah, I'll be back in order. I'll be back good. Yeah, so... Oof. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below uh, and above, wherever. I'll try to put this on BitChute as well because fuck YouTube. Um, I don't know. Right now, it's just everything's just weird nowadays. It really is. It's weird. It's unusual. And yeah, it's just. It's just kooky. It's very kooky. I mean, I got trying. Also, I gotta get an extra battery for my camera. So, uh, also, I might try to do a let's play of the original Resident Evil Three. I got it for GameCube. That's great. But I also want to get my. Oh, you want to hear a funny story? I tried to clean out my PlayStation and ended up breaking the batter uh, the power button. And I'm hoping it still works. Like I'm hoping they can just fix it with the ease, with you know, just a simple just fix. Maybe not. I don't know. I really don't know. It sucks, though, but, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Which, you know, this is one of the things that pisses me off about the PlayStations. Not really PlayStation 2, but PlayStation 3 and 4. No backwards compatibility. Like, what the ever-loving fuck, guys? Like, you can't just, you know... I love the PlayStation library, but you couldn't, like... 
you know, everybody gets annoyed with that. It's like, ugh, no, nobody, like, the younger generation doesn't like old things. And it's like, that's not true. If you have, like, you know, you have, you're going to have those people who are going to be the niche market. And those are the people that I feel like you should make a game like, uh, like an old school Resident Evil game for the niche market. I mean, like, how much money would it take? Like, if you look at, like, how, the, like, how much money was made into the original, like, original Resident Evil game and how much money is made now on the newer game, you can make, uh, like, I don't know. I'll talk about it in a different topic. I'm done talking about Resident Evil. People are just tired of talking me here when they talk about Resident Evil. And I will shut up about Resident Evil. And I will talk about something else in the next video. But I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, love you, and bye bye. And remember to stay happy, positive, and don't let this fucking coronavirus bother you. So take care. Peace.